hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am doing a review on the new rob beauty christie colourpop collab and oh my goodness i've been watching rob beauty christie and she's in love with colourpop so this is like the most amazing thing for her but i was very intrigued to see what she created and i wanted to grab my hands on some pieces not all of them but i picked up like four things so we're just gonna go into it i'm gonna show you guys swatches and i created this look using everything i got from the collection i'm gonna give you guys um to give you guys some info so she dropped this collection I think a few weeks ago it comes the collection includes a eyeshadow palette two luxe lip glosses four super shock shadows three cream gel eyeliners and yeah so the eyeshadow palette retails for twenty dollars um the glosses retail for nine dollars the cream shadows retail for seven dollars gel eyeliner retails for seven dollars this collection it's super beautiful earthy it's like all about like um greens and browns and like the bronzes and the golds and like it's literally a fall palette and it's so pretty the packaging on the edge of the palette the mushrooms on the palette here even on the boxing and everything like has like mushroom i think she was kind of like going mushroom crazy because there are like two maybe three there are a few words in here maybe are like mushroom related so just letting you know like a mushroom earthy foresty related um collection but it's gorgeous it is super pigmented i'm actually so happy with the pigmentation it's crazy because when i saw it i was like okay like that's really cute but i was like oh no that's really cute like i can almost use like all the shades in there i think there's only like two shades i can't use and it's puffball and chanterella like chanterella works but like it's ashy so those two colors are lit colors for me but in the crease they don't work but everything else bangs this collection is amazing i i love everything i got nothing is like eh. everything is like oh my goodness like she need to do more collaborations with ColourPop. and if you guys would like to see the swatches live swatches and a tutorial using this collection please keep on watching don't forget to hit that like button to let me know you enjoyed these videos don't forget to smash that subscribe button to let me know um you want to watch more videos of me and also don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when i post up a video which is usually once a week but let's get started with this tutorial Hey guys, okay, so I got my hands on the new Raw Beauty Christie ColourPop collab. I ordered it the day it dropped, so I just got it today. So we're gonna be testing it out. I picked up a few things. I didn't pick up a lot, to be honest, because I was really debating if I needed the entire collection. I picked up like four products, but I'm gonna swatch everything and then we're going to create a makeup look. But yeah, so let me show you the swatches. So she came out with glosses, eyeshadow, super shock shadows and eyeliners and i got one super shock shadow the palette and two glosses so the first thing i'm going to show you guys is the packaging and it's so beautiful this is the packaging of the eyeshadow palette it's super duper gorgeous so pretty like i can't hear your theme is like earthy foresty some life it has a lot of like mushrooms on it so that's the outer packaging of the palette then this is the shadows just look how pretty those shadows are it's just so freaking gorgeous and like it's literally like perfect um like fall kind of palette so i'm just gonna swatch all the shadows on my hand and then we're gonna go through them right so this is the swatches of the shadow palette so the first shade up here is puffball the second shade is chanterella the next shade is rainer the next shade is old growth the next shade is evergreen the next shade is west coast the next shade is homegrown the next shade is amanetta the next shade is fiddlehead then emerald city and and then PNW and then let it rain so that is the swatches of the eyeshadows okay so the next thing I'm gonna swatch is the super shock shadow which is this this is the packaging it's I feel like it's so much more smaller 
but I think I have the highlighter, so that's why I'm thinking um, of it. So the packaging of this is like a nice mossy green, very earthy. I got the shade Campfire um, because this shade looks freaking gorgeous. Ooh, I've never tried ColourPop. I'm super shocked shadows before. So that is Campfire. That's super pretty. That's like the perfect, like perfect fall color and then i got the two glosses and they are the luxe gloss from and this is the packaging again has the nature has the mushrooms on there so the first shade is wild flower which is a soft pinky nude which is that shade right there you guys can't really see it and then the next shade is glacier which is just a clear lip gloss with a bunch of glitter in there like this is the packaging for the applicator it smells really good it smells like something but i can't put my finger on it and then it has like mushroom designs at the top of the cap for both of the lip gloss that is the lip gloss so now that i've shown you swatches of all the products we're gonna get into the tutorial Okay, so while I was off camera, I filled in my eyebrows. I went in with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. So we're just gonna move on to the eyes. So I'm just going to prime my eyelid with the MAC Paint Jelly Paint Pot. I'm gonna apply that to my eyelids. I'm just gonna use my flat foundation brush. So my eyelids are primed. So we're gonna go into the eyeshadow palette. I'm actually super excited. I wanna try to use every shadow I can in this palette. The first shade I'm gonna go into is Chanter Chanterella. Just that mustard there. And I'm just going to apply that above my crease, kind of close to my eyebrow. And I'm just taking a large fluffy brush. Okay, so immediately as soon as I touch the brush into it, there is some kickback, as you guys can see that. There is some kickback. I don't really care for kickback, but some people are gonna be like, oh, the kickback is not good, so. I might use a different brush. That one is pulling up to orange. I'm gonna go on my Morphe 441 brush. There is some orange in this shade because it's like picking up the orange as I'm blending it out. There's like bits of orange I'm seeing kind of peek through. Now you know what? I'm gonna go in with Rainier and I'm just going to tap that and just right on top of this. I feel like that might just help this out a little bit. Just that shade in my crease by itself doesn't work for me. Okay. So now that we've blended out Chant Chanterella and Rainer together into the crease, I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into Amanetta, just the shade right over here. And I'm just going to apply that just right below that shade with my dress up small tapered blending brush, just right below it. This color is super pigmented. Wow. That was like a one dip kind of situation. Wow. 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 It's almost like there's no need to go with the second one, but I am. Wow. This color is super pigmented. This color is a pressed, I think, pigment because it states on the box at the back. Um, it should not be intended for eye area, but um, yellow. You love life on the edge. I'm just taking my BH Cosmetics brush and just blending this. When you're using colors that are strong in pigment, especially pressed pigment, pigments specifically you really want to make sure you blend it out because you can sometimes see that line of demarcation so this is the outlook so far it looks really good so the next shade we're gonna go into is emerald city the green right here on my morphe 456 brush and i'm just going to apply emerald city into the crease and focus in it also on the outer corner just right in here and then in here as well and if it covers the lid that's okay because we are we are going to clean it up a bit i only did like two dips in there and i like think i'm good these shadows are so pigmented All right, so now we are just going to clean up the lid. Actually, we're not even gonna clean up the lid at all. I'm gonna go back on my four, five, six brush with Emerald City. I'm just gonna apply this to the outer corner of the eyes. 
and then with my flat shader brush my morphe 167 brush i'm gonna go into evergreen the shade right over here the dull chrome green and i'm just gonna apply that to my lid area but not all the way i want to keep the outer corner the same so just halfway through oh my god this shadow it's so freaking pretty and with the green base it pulls out the green more in this eyeshadow look so freaking pretty and i love how it looks with the emerald city on the outer corner i'm just going back with my 456 brush no extra product i'm just blending this together we're gonna go back to the eyes but we're just gonna move on to the base i am gonna clean up. okay so i'm gonna go in with my sasha mattifying primer and i'm gonna kind of go for a more glowy base because christy loved her a natural base a super natural base nothing crazy um nothing full coverage she does do full coverage but i always see the girl rocking a glowy base so we're gonna do a glowy base today and i'm using the rare beauty foundation in 520 and i'm just going to apply that to my face I'm just gonna blend it out with my Morphe Y7 brush. So now that the foundation is blended out on my face, I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty Concealer in 480. And I'm just going to apply this underneath the eye here. And then I'm just going to blend out my concealer with my Beauty Blender. All right, so my concealer is blended out and I'm just going to set underneath my eyes with the Huda Beauty Cinnamon Bun Powder. All right, so we're just gonna go back into the eyes and finish it up. So I'm going to first line my waterline with a green eyeliner she does have a green eyeliner in her collection but i didn't get it so i'm using the nyx eye pencil in emerald city i'm just gonna go on my waterline and then my lower lash line as well all right so now i'm just gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna go in with Emerald City and I'm just going to press that along my lower lash line with my Morphe 165 brush. I'm just now going to blend out the lower lash line now with Amonetta. I'm gonna go back with Amonetta and I'm just going to blend that out. I'm gonna go in my Morphe 3 two one brush which is like a bullet crease brush further blend that out bringing it up here to connect and i'm just going to further blend it out with ringer using the same brush the eyes are done I am now going to just to go off camera. I'm just gonna put on mascara and lashes. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational and then my Ava Beauty Lashes in Airy. I'm just gonna do that off camera, so I will be back. Okay guys, so I have put on my lashes. 
I had to do this off camera because my this eye is so watery that putting on lashes is a struggle and a half. But lashes are on, mascara is on. I literally didn't do much, just waited <laughs> for my lashes to dry. But we're gonna finish off the face, keep it moving. We're done the eyes basically. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Mocha Mommy Bronzer. I'm just going to use that just to bronze up my face add some warmth in there i'm not gonna put on blush all right so now i'm just gonna go into my abh blush kit in granite and i'm gonna go into the contour shade right over here and i'm just gonna use that to contour my face and i'm gonna go in with my morphe r14 brush just go in and just lightly contour my face so just to finish off the rest of the face i'm going to go in with the dubious place the royalty number two loose highlighter and i'm going to go in with my morphe 451 brush and i'm just going to highlight the high points of the cheek Right. so my face is highlighted and it's looking freaking gorgeous so for the lips i'm thinking we're gonna do i'm gonna go in with wildflower for my lips and i'm just going to line my lips with the morphe trendsetter lip liner i'm just gonna fill in my lips with this Before I move on to the lips, I have one more. I want to use Campfire somewhere. It might. I'm gonna use that as my inner corner highlight. It might be pushing it, but I'm gonna do a little inner corner highlight with Campfire. And I'm gonna take my Morphe 124 brush. And just apply this just in the inner corner right here. So now I'm just gonna go in with Wildflower and apply this on top of, it smells, it smells like candy, but I can't remember what candy that smells like, but it smells good. These lip glosses are super sheer, they're like a topper, so, all right. So that is Wildflower on top, it's like a pinky nude and i'm just gonna top i'm gonna top it off with glacier to give it a little glitter and i'm gonna use every shade okay guys so this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and i'll see you guys in my next one bye